So first speaker today will um, Jose Luis Calderon Gonzalez, sales director or head of sales at Shimco. He's going to talk about the three worst mistakes in perimeter protection in airports. Jose Luis, you've got 20 minutes. All right, good morning and thank you. I am going to tell you about three serious errors that are regularly found in the perimeter protection at an airport. Javier, you can start. The next slide, please. So, error number one, lack of holistic vision. The next one, please. Well, the perimeter protection is the first line of defense. This is why we have to understand it. We are not speaking about a fence. We are not speaking about a wall. We're speaking about a strategy. And from that point of view, we have to understanding with this idea, with this concept, not just as a line. Not having a holistic approach means we will not understand that we have to meet these different goals. Limitate, deter, and delay the potential enemy. And it's also a series of mechanisms that complement the response and also the evaluation and identification of a strategy. Not having a holistic approach will also mean that you don't have all the information necessary to make the proper decisions. This means when you want to have a project about the perimeter protection, you need to understand the internal and external context of the facilities. You also need to understand that uh, the airport facilities has a series of assets and series of areas and processes that are important to be bared in mind. And not having a holistic point of view or approach limits us to understand that an airport facility should be classified in controlled areas, restricted areas, or excluded areas. And this is about the security level. The uh, Guadalajara airport manager said that this is like a small city, and that's true. We are not only speaking about the operation at the airport. There are other mm, entities such as logistic companies or hangars providing service to public institutions or private institutions, and each of them are a small part of these big facilities. And with that, we need to have a global vision. A global vision is the only way that would allow us to develop a layer strategy, a layer, uh, layers of protection that are so important to safeguard our assets. And when I speak about assets, I speak about equipment, I speak about processes, information, people that may come into these kind of facilities. The second error, which is very common, is focusing on price. Only taking a look at the cost of a perimeter protection, protection system. As I mentioned, the perimeter protection system cannot be seen as a line, as a fence, or as a wall. It should be seen, as you can see it here, it is a series of elements composing several layers in the private and in the public sphere. If you take a look at this slide, behind the vehicles, you see some concrete elements. They forbid for a, um, a car to come inside. There are also trees that are planted there. And yes, of course, this has to do with uh, looking beautiful, but it also has to do with security. And then you have the fence. The fence is placed in, uh, in a part uh, that has grass, and this limits the area where our system will start. And on the other side, you can see something like a mirror. And it's important that this whole set, uh, which we call uh, perimeter, uh, protection strategy and this perimeter protection has several elements so you cannot only 
say this is a fence. You cannot see it as a fence because at the level of security, you need to adopt different elements such as fences, uh, blade obstacles, barriers, security checkpoints, signals, etc. And all the rest of the elements that will help you to have a complete strategy to cover this perimeter protection system. A vision that is only focusing on price doesn't let us see what are the environmental problems that we are also subject to. It is very common to travel around the Mexico airports, mainly in the southeast, and see how every now and then they change their perimeter fences. Why? Because they make decisions only based on price and they do not see that an area where there is a great uh, level of corrosion well, you necessarily need to invest more money in uh, additional coating of the different elements that will let you have these elements for a longer period of time. Therefore, I will invite you to not to focus only on the cost of a fence, but to understand that a perimeter protection system is a set of different elements. And apart from that, Additionally, we have to bear in mind, we have the duty to calculate a long time how much it will cost to maintain this system, to repair this system. What happens when we have one element and then we want to integrate it with other elements? Well, these are additional costs that may mean more costs for the organization. What happens with support? For example, execution times. When you build something, it is not the same to have uh, the uh, concrete wall because you need the sand there, etc. Or you may have other elements that are quickly installed. There are also additional costs to be uh, considered. And what happens when we decide to go for one system because of a low price, but then after two years, you need to spend more money because you have to generate a new bid uh, and to have new contractors to make maintenance or to rebuild uh, the system again. But if you use an analysis that is holistic, that is global, this will guarantee that whatever you install covers the security covers the functionality and covers the operational side of things. So level two is I invite you not only to focus on price, try to have a global view, a global vision of what is happening. Now, what is error number three? It is living in the past. It's incredible, but when we travel around Mexico, we see that many security systems at airports are based on the use of very old technologies. So we fall on a big mistake because the country where we live has an important context in terms of violence. So we are in a country that reports one of the highest levels of violence in fact, one of the most violent cities in the world is in Mexico. So we cannot protect our infrastructure with old technologies and we cannot, uh, we are not well placed to defend and to face these kind of challenges. So my question to you is what is the vision that you should have or what is the perception that you want to give about your airport facilities? Something like uh, what you see on the left, which is similar to the Berlin Wall or something with more transparency like on the right hand side. What do you prefer? Do you prefer a door such as the one on the left that is activated uh, uh, automatically, which resists this kind of circumstances such as the ones on the right, because on the right, which is manually operated, 
Uh, this is about an event that happened in the past and they brought it down. They could open the doors very easily and they took an airport in the southeast of the country. Do you prefer to live in the past with a chain like the one you see on the right? Or do you think it is nice to have these kind of chains around our perimeter? Or do you want to have a professional lock that is really difficult to break? Now, what happens with the control and management of keys? Do we live in the past, like in the upper image, where you can see a huge set of keys that the guard needs to bring with him or her, and sometimes they need 40 minutes to open a door because they don't know where the key is and the key is lost. Or maybe you prefer to have a professional system to manage all the keys that will help us to make security on a quicker and more efficient way. So let us look at the consequences of these bad decisions of these potential situations that I showed you. Javier, continue. All right, so this under your criterion, do you believe this is a proper installation for an, aer an, an airport? Here you can see the fueling area protected with a fence that can be very easily broken, that can be trespassed very easily. So do you think this is possible? Here we see the lack of maintenance. This is very short-sighted because when we're talking about this perimeter system, we need to work on a certain timeline and contemplate that cleaning up the perimeter must take place because cleaning up the perimeter is conveying a message, an organizational message. When you walk around here, you think, that well the maintenance of the this facility is falls quite short of the expectations so i do encourage you to have a more long-term comprehensive vision now look at these facilities if you see the fences is leaning out, but the attack might come leaning in, but the attack might come from the outside. So it's actually backwards. So this type of facility has not been uh, built with the right knowledge. And this is such a basic error. It's pitiful because you realize when you walk uh, around this type of system, for example, this is another airport, and you see this type of image uh, on the fueling grounds. Let's say that this airport, one way or another, wanted to limit the visibility of this uh, area. Well, that green lining was appropriate. It lasted 12 months before it started breaking up. Now, why is it breaking up? Well, because it's exposed to UV uh, rays and to the sun. And based on the price, when we buy this, looking at the price, we don't check that the UV protection is actually really low. So I do encourage you to think about the decisions that you take and how important they are, because we talk about the importance of infrastructures in airports, and we talk about the consequences of cascade effects. Let's say that there is a, somebody breaks into our perimeter as a well, the result might be economic damage and some time to replace whatever was stolen, but then there are intangible damages. For example, we have to stop operations. There are failures in the systems. There might be sues. We might be sued because we cannot provide our service duly, additional expenses, funerary medical expenses, legal liabilities, and uh, many others. That is why it is very important when we have a project like this to uh, make sure the size is right. I encourage you to think outside of the box. There are many options, many different solutions. Your airports deserve the best. 
and you should not keep on using obsolete technologies that do not provide good results um, at present. And if you cannot find the right path, well, it might be the time to tread on a new path. These are some design proposals. This is what we believe this should be a clean system, a robust system uh, that is resistant and can be integrated with uh, electronic systems. The proposals can be also aesthetic. They can be combined in terms of colors and to match the colors of the, your infrastructure. Finally, let me quote Shakespeare, experience is acquired with work and perfected over time. So the experience of our company, Shimco, is available to you. We have over 30 years of expertise in the market. Um, these are just examples of some of our facilities and uh, the team, Simple has been working for more than 30 years. We are available to you should you in, at any point in time require any advisory or support in terms of perimeter protection. Thank you very much. Well, Jose Luis, thank you very much.